SDS Imports with Jared. How you doing? Not too bad. Crazy shot show as always, but we're, we're making it work. Absolutely. So you have some really cool things, starting with some shotguns behind you here. Right? Yeah, you so thanks for stopping by, starting off with that, Kyle. Um, but we're going to be checking out some new products. So our Mac 1014 and M2 shotguns have been out now for a year. And a lot of people are like, is it just another Turkish clone? And one thing we can say this year is um, our, our 1014 and M2 clones are so good, the agency arms is starting to use them to build some custom shotguns that will be available to consumers. So agency's parts that were meant for the M4 are dropping right into our 1014. Oh, very cool. And they're able to make some really cool shotguns with some added extra features that are available from them now. Oh, excellent, excellent. What else we got on the wall here? Boom. So on top of that, um, a lot of this is leaked on YouTube and oh, Instagram yeah. lately, but Mac will have its own line of MP5 clones that are going to be available here in the next couple of weeks. So starting with two models, we're going to have a Mac 5 and also the shorter K model. Yep. You know, for all you guys that like watching Die Hard at Christmas time, <laughs> for $1,100, maybe a little bit less when the wow. street price comes out, you're going to have a nice option to make that MP5 build a reality. Yeah, look at that. That's great. Now, when, when is this coming out? These are going to be available hopefully sometime around mid-March. Okay. And the K versus the normal size, what are we thinking, like price point? The um, same or? Uh, about 1,050 MSRP. A little bit. Okay, so yeah. about the same, so but so yeah, pick and choose. A Oh yeah, I got the trilog, and uh, it looks like threaded as well. Yep, half by 28. There's a flash suppressor in the box. It will oh, ship with two 30 round magazines and a whole slew of accessories. I think there's like a sling cleaning kit as well as some other goodies in the box. We were looking at that box. That is very nice. Like the actual box it comes with. Yeah, no. like honestly for what it is. Yeah, and then you have the rail up here. Now that's not coming with it, but it will be maybe an option. Yeah, we, we put these on there just to kind of show people the aftermarket accessories like this one for Midwest Industries. Yep. They're gonna work just find and seamlessly integrate with the new Mac 5. Now you're gonna sell your own, you think maybe? Um, we're gonna have a whole host of accessories coming along such as new forearms, yep. butt stocks and pistol braces. So those guys that maybe wanna do a form one. But while we continue to navigate that gray area that is pistol braces, I know. the guys are gonna be able to put one on there for now. Trigger packs are gonna drop in from other manufacturers. So maybe you wanted to go to like an A3 versus the Navy pack, those yep. options are gonna be available as well. Excellent, and then parts compatibility. I mean, you have the accessories, like it looks like the hand guards, the maybe the grip modules you can yep. switch them out yep so far we uh some guys have already put midwest industry hand yep. guards and mag pull stuff on there um i haven't gotten my sample yet so i haven't had an <laughs> opportunity to kind of play with one but yeah these are going to be something exciting for this year over here at the tisa's gun bar this is all of our new stuff for 2024 and there's quite a bit of it most excited and i think what most people have come to search out for is the new line of double stacks from tisa so 799 dollars wow msrp 70 series uppers um, ambi controls, RM RMSC cut from the factory with a Glock dovetail rear sight. So you're going to have a lot of options should you want to put a different rear sight that co-witnesses through the optic. STI pattern grip module and magazine. So Excellent. there's going to be a lot of aftermarket support for you to customize these. And at $800, you're going to have a lot of money left over to do just that. Yeah. We'll be available in a five inch model as well. Okay. Kind of the same feature set as the carry, same MSRP. Excellent. Expanding on the popular Night Stalker line, oh, there yeah. is an SF double stack threaded barrel, high vis tritium night sight, RMSC cut. This one does include an aluminum magazine well that is removable. So should you want a little more real estate for those faster reloads, or you want a slimmer profile because you may be carrying this for self-defense or everyday carry, the TSOS Night Stalker has got you covered. All right, and you get the single stack too, right? Single stack is here. That's Again, nine, yeah. These are available in nine, 45, and 10 millimeter. Oh, a 10 millimeter, there we go. All right, what else you got? TSOS last year dropped a surprise on everyone with the <laughs> announcement of the PX-5. Well, this gun is finally available for purchase in the U.S. These will begin to be shipping probably around the middle to the end of February and it has an MSRP of $459. Wow. So if you wanted a semi-automatic 5.7 pistol, TSOS might be another good option to check out. Excellent. Boom. Last year, we showed you a new and improved FATI B380. Unfortunately, it never went to market because we went right back and started redesigning it. And one of the most notable improvements is going to be a more robust recoil system. Okay. It's going to help tame that recoil on such a small pistol, as well as dovetailing the sights for the popular 92 FS. Yeah. So you're going to be able to use any sights that are available for the 92 on our version of the B380. Excellent. 
Again, another holdover from last year was the PX9 Carry. These started shipping to dealers last week. A little version of our PX9 Gen 3 in a smaller form factor. Again, no proprietary magazine. Uses readily available PTP228 mags, or if you don't care about the mag hanging out a little bit, you can use your 226 magazines from the PX9 Gen 3's big brother. Now, I shot that at a range day not long ago, and it was very nice. Boom. RMR optic cut, co-witnesses with standard height sights, so you're not going to have to put Put a tall set of sights on your gun to be able to use your sights with your optics. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then one more from Mac, that is the Mac 9 DS. Oh, this is that. kind of the bells and whistles version of the TSOS uh, double stack, but under the Mac brand, aluminum magwell, RMR adapter plate in lieu of a direct mount optic yep. that will have a Glock rear sight. These guns have a bull barrel with a full length guide rod in the recoil system fiber optic sights and adjustable trigger for an MSRP of about $1,100. Not bad, not bad. Very cool. All right, well, hey, thanks so much, Jared. Kyle, thank you for stopping by. Everyone go check out Gear Know How. He's got some great content that he's putting out, and thank you for checking us out here at SHOT Show. All right, thanks, take care.